Two days ago, I bought my subscriber Aiden's eBay business. Three grand cash tomorrow? Yep, if you could drop it off tomorrow. Yeah, done. You gotta do it. After getting a taste of all the crazy 90s nostalgia this store consisted of, I knew there was no other option but to spend up and buy the whole thing. I'm now stressed. <laughs> Today is handover day, Aiden's delivering the goods to my house, and I'm gonna turn the camera on and dive into some of these boxes that even Aiden himself has never been in before. There literally could be anything in these things, and I'm pretty excited to see what we've got. Yeah, that's absolutely crazy. <laughs> Oh, it goes all the way to the back. Yeah, all the way back. Jeez. When you sent me that photo, I was like, holy hell, like the anxiety just went through the roof. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's all it's all epic. It's all there. And even this stuff too, like, that I've never even looked into. It'd be cool to look into. Um, but we just gotta get it all out now, eh? That's the plan. That's the plan. So we'll stack it. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll stack it pretty much just all on here. Yep. Um, as much as we possibly can. All right, so that is everything. Have a look at it. My goodness. That is what we've got to deal with, and this is my eBay business currently. So I've got all of this stuff built up over, what, two and a half years of doing this, and I reckon I've just got the same amount of quantity just dropped off in one hit. So I'm gonna spend the rest of the day going through all of this. We've just got to give you some money. <laughs> um, and uh, I appreciate you bringing it all down. This is, this is gonna be fun. Three grand. Make sure you count that. So my first task was to find everything that I wanted to sell at a flea market or a garage sale. And I just put all of that to the side and then went through it. Fountains over there. These are pretty funky. Look at this. We've got a Mickey Martian Sunbeam Milkshake Maker. That's really, really cool. Inbox, obviously, as well. This is a synthesized receiver from Sony, which was pretty epic. Inbox. Haven't gone through it yet. Uh, not sure how much it's worth, but I've just put that to the side. Uh, there's a disco lamp. Uh, we've got Flossy, the fairy floss maker. That's pretty sick. Now, you're probably thinking, what are you going to do from a storage front? Um, obviously, there's not a lot of room in the, uh, in the garage here. I am fortunate to be able to leave it over at mum and dad's place. So, big thank you to mum and dad. Uh, we'll be taking all of this stuff that we're going to try and look to take to a garage sale or a flea market. Uh, we're going to take that over there first. So I'm going to do that little task now. And then all the fun stuff, all the stuff that I want to hold on to and keep, um, we're going to go through tomorrow because I am absolutely cooked. So I'll see you then. All right, guys, welcome to day two. I've actually got the GoPro on today because we're going to do a lot of picking. I will say that of the stuff that we're about to look at, I don't know everything. And there's going to be a lot of stuff that I might just bypass that could be worth quite a bit of money. I'd love for you guys to help me out in the comments below. So I wanted to go through in today's little video, um, just some boxes. These two boxes right here, um, I've, I've not yet gone through them and they're basically mystery boxes. It's just an assortment of anything and everything uh, and I haven't gone through them yet. So I'm gonna turn the GoPro on. We're gonna dive into both boxes today and I'm gonna basically sort out two piles. One that I think is valuable for eBay and then the other that I might just basically put to the side and, and we'll leave that for a little bit. But um, I'm keen to get in there. I'm keen to see what we've got. So let's pull it outside and start having a look. Big Brother souvenir coin, that's pretty cool. So this is literally just in a random assortment of different pins. Got an A-League pin there. Modern day heroes. So some of those pins could be good. We've got a popcorn machine. Pokemon stickers, Dragon Ball Z stickers. Oh, these K-Zones can be pretty good as well, especially with Pokemon, Pokemon Stadium back in the day. So that's good too. Oh, I remember these. I remember these. These are the, these are the knuckles, the crazy bones. Literally, the entire thing's full of them. I would have no idea how much they're worth. They're like 90s. They're awesome. 
I used to play these as a kid all the time. Is that the guy out of Dragon Ball Z? That's cool. Knuckles. So this, this, I know this set is basically, it's like 90s nostalgia. It's filled with Pokemon stuff. Like, look at this. Chain Gang Soldiers, John Cena. So this is WWE. 2005 as well, WWE. That's really, really, look, it spins too. That should be worth a bit. There's more. Champ. That spin. Oh, yeah. That is rad. 2005 World Wrestling Entertainment. Pendants. That is very cool. Are there any others? Oh, yeah. Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy pendant. How cool is that? He was my favorite wrestler growing up. Hopefully there's some more. But that's three really. I'm actually put this on here. This is the special pile. So we've got three WWE pendants. These are always awesome. These sit, look, they've even got their tags. Sydney 2000 coffee mugs. We've got Ollie there. I think I saw another one, yeah. So they could go as a set. This Ferrari hat's sweet. I always love my hats, so that's an awesome Ferrari hat. Um, we've got some more pins. We've got some old Pepsi badges. They're really sweet. What's in this? Okay. So it looks like we've got a lot of playing cards from different airlines. Singapore Airlines. We've got a brand new Coca-Cola deck of cards. Oh, we've got a demo disc for a PSP game too. Um, so it looks like it's all playing cards of different types. Oh, Vegemite Qantas. That's cool. Some more Coca-Cola. Alright. Not sure what playing cards are worth, but there's a lot of them in there. I feel like we're going to fill up this box pretty quickly. Oh, look at this. Oh wow, this is, this is heavy. So these are the Pokemon battling coin game. Oh, sweet. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know much about these. I never used to have these as a kid. Wow, that's so cool. Zubat, Veloplume, and Meowth. That's epic. Don't know what they're worth. But that's very cool to see. And there's so many of them too. This whole thing is full, so I'm sure they've all got their coins in them. Yeah. Yeah. All the coins are in them. So that could be worth a fair bit. I mean, anything Pokemon, right? Full box plus the original container. Looks like you've got to collect every single one, 150 of them. I don't think we'd have 150 with this set, but... Oh, jeez, that is so full. Don't want to wreck them. Might just leave that like that for now. That's very, very cool. Oh, that's nice. Levi's wallet. Looks brand new too. It's nice. Put that one there. Some plush. Have a look at this. Wowee. Madagascar, brand new with tags. Madagascar 3. He'll do well. Put him there. So many of these soccer... Oh, that's a Sydney 2000. What's that? Just a little figurine. Sydney 2000. Anything Olympics, you know is going to be good. I don't know about these Socceroos tokens. I'll do them as a bundle for sure. Here's Rock. That could be worth a little bit. 
Can't say I know my uh, my cutlery. It's not my category. Parker pen. Twenty-two fifty retail. Parker pen. That's cool. What is this? Oh, another wallet. Brand new too. Gotta check for money. That's nice. More Sydney mascots. So this is apparently, I was told, complete. So that's awesome if it is. Well, it looks a little bit worn there. But I'll have to have a check of that. But that's obviously an awesome find. Anything Pokemon you're doing well. Um, we've got a police teddy bear here from Careflight, it looks like. Constable T-Bear, edition five. A little bit worn. Put him there. Uh, I don't know about these Nikes, so I've got to look into them. But they are in pretty decent condition. The soles are great as well, so those shoes might do, might do well. That's cool. Mini Auto Scan FM Radio, brand new Pokemon boxed. That's sick. Oh, that's cool. Hot Wheels 2007 series posters. They can be a bit of a collector's type item. Hot Wheels is pretty popular. I think I might leave that for now. I want to jump into this over here. They all just seem to be a heap of more tokens. This is cool though. We've got a Simpsons. That's really cool. Set of four of those. The old school Slurpee cups from 7 Eleven. Commemorative cup, that looks pretty sick. The Macca's World Cup 2010 glasses, which can be collector's items. This one, yeah, 2010. All different types too, so there might be a bit of a set there. So that's cool. That's definitely something that can sell well. Some more of the Dairy Farmer's Milk Cup. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Old school 600 mil bottle. Tire the Tasmanian Tiger poster. Got a Barbie, Barbie bike. That'll do well. Got Brisbane Broncos license plates. Brisbane Lions as well. That'll do well. Uh, we've got some CDs here. Little things. Planet Shakers. Into the Deep. Rugrats on PlayStation. Search for Reptile. That could be good. These actually go for quite a bit of money. Uh, we've got a talking boonie character. Hopefully it's in here. Yeah, that'll that'll go for, I think it's like $30, $40. Not that new. Got, um, yeah, that's awesome. That'll do really well. Boonie and Botham. That's awesome. Oh wow. Sydney 2003 Sipper Straws. 1998. Wow. So, I don't think there's anything else too crazy in this box here. 
clothing, a couple of pairs of shoes and hats, a lot of like tokens and stuff, but it was all this stuff here that was good. I think the best was actually these, these Pokemon battling coins, because they look to be complete, which is going to be interesting to look into. Doing a little bit of research into a couple that I thought would be pretty decent, and I was really happy to see the Chain Gang Soldier John Cena pendant. Uh, that one there was going for anywhere between sort of eighty to one hundred dollars. Um, this one here as well, this WWE Spinning Champ uh, pendant as well. That was John Cena, I think, as well. That one, I think it was a combo. I'll put it up on screen. I think it was worth about sixty or seventy. Uh, and then this one as well. So this is actually this is a Jeff Hardy uh, Hardy Boys. Pendant. And it's not an exact match, but there are three international comps for Jeff Hardy Hardy Boy pendants uh, going in the hundreds of dollars. So between 100 to 200 bucks. So maybe I'll be able to get some similar sort of a dollar for this, maybe 100 bucks, which would be just epic. So, you know, potentially, I want to say potentially $250 in just these three pendants alone. The other really interesting find was this massive box of Pokemon battling coins. It was entirely full of coins. Uh, and then I also opened up another shoe box in this maze of other stuff that I have. And I found another set of them here as well. These ones don't actually have the plastic case. They're just loose, but they've all got their coins. So I don't think it's gonna devalue them too much not having these clear cases, but all up guys, we have 30 sets of coins. So it's not a complete set by any means. I don't have every single of the 151 Pokemon coins out there, but 30 sets of 30, or 30 sets actually what I'm trying to say, works out to $30 each. That's how much they go for. So there they are there, that's a look at them. There's three of them in there. Um, so yeah, that's worth 30 bucks alone. And if I've got 30 of them, that means there's about $900 worth of coins here. But that's not all. I looked into it even further and I spoke to a few of you guys on Instagram. And you guys said that if you find one that has Charizard, it worth, it's worth double. It's worth $60. And I've gone through every single one of these coins. And I want to try and find one. I've actually got six Charizards. There he is there. So I've got, I've got six of these sets that have actually got a Charizard in it. And there's also one that has a Pikachu in it. And Pikachu as well uh, doubles its value too. So... There's seven that I can account for $60 worth. So that's another, what's that? Three times seven, $210 on top. So it's about $1,100 worth of Pokemon coins. So 1,100 in Pokemon coins, 250 bucks in pendants. And that was just two items that came out of that box. And there was a whole heap of other stuff as well. It's obviously been quite a lot of interest uh, in the Pokemon case uh, purchase as well. So these uh, crystal here, really, really good condition. The box is immaculate. Uh, and then we've got two versions of Pokemon Yellow there as well. So we've also got the Pokemon Red as a game copy. These don't have the games in them. They're just box only. And a viewer of the channel offered me $300 and I said no. If I can buy the game even online for $180, this thing actually sells complete for about $800. Bucks. And I'd like to try and complete it before I look to sell it or potentially hold on to it and keep it as a collectible. I did love playing it as a kid growing up. So that was just a bit of an update there with those boxes that I was able to pull away out of this deal. They're just too good to get rid of too soon. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna take you guys through is the action figures and more specifically the boxed action figures as well. Um, we'll look them out on the table now and I'll take you through all of them. There's some pretty crazy finds in here. All right, so this big, glorious box of action figures. Check these out. Got a couple of pieces of Barbie as well, which is awesome. Uh, we've got the Cool Wheeler there as well. Um, that one's just a figurine stamper, but it's Barbie and it's in its box. I thought that was pretty sweet. Uh, the other Barbie one as well was this one here. We had the bicycle and all of its accessories in box. The box is a little beat up. But overall, it's in great condition. And where's the year on it? I uh, can't see a year. 1998 Acro Toys. So that's awesome. So a couple of pieces of Barbie there, which is always good. Uh, we have one Thunderbirds action figure, Alan Tracy. 
uh, brand new in box, so you'd imagine that'd go well. Guys, I don't know too much about my action figures. I just know that obviously when they're in their box, it's going to be a, a better value. So it'd be nice to know in the comments below uh, what you deem some of these items to be worth. And if there's one that's like crazy, outrageously expensive that I don't know about, let me know. Um, you, you, Hacker Show. Oh, I think I've got that right, that pronunciation. This is Kawabara. Um, don't know this show at all, guys. It's the only one of its kind in here. Um, obviously, brand new in box there. Oh, yeah, he, he, he would be worth a fair bit, I would imagine, but I don't know too much about the show. Did have a $10 price tag on there too, which is crazy. Uh, we've got some Dragon Ball Z. We have three Dragon Ball Z guys. Uh, so there's these little mini figurines. Um, so yeah, mini figurines. There's a set of 12 there. So yeah, Goku and Vegeta. There's a few to collect on the back there as well. I've got a few of these guys um, loose as well. There is another big box of action figures just down here. Uh, that I do need to get through, but like so many Dragon Ball Z like loose action figures, but we're just going through uh, the box stuff here first. So yeah, three different box Dragon Ball Zs there. Uh, this was a Pokemon collector pin set, and I think it goes for about 70 bucks. So that was really cool to see. Anything, anything Pokemon, I'm getting very, very excited about. I'll put them over here with my battling coins. Um, we've got a lot of WWE. There was this one as well. Pokemon Advance, it was just a magnetic dart set, but look, it's Pokemon, so I'm sure it's going to comp up to be worth a bit. Uh, we've got these little guys as well. Um, so these are just some bouncy balls. So we've got Chansey and uh, Topogi, or Togepi. Togepi. Um, so yeah, they're nice, being brand new. I don't know anything about their retail or resale value. These as well, we've got some more little Pokemon things here. We've got the mini figurine sets. I think they're both the same. It's a set, yeah, they are. They're both the same, but a set of eight. So that'll be, that'll be worth a little bit. Uh, so a lot of little bits and pieces for Pokemon in here, which is good. Uh, we've got some Digimon. So the Digimon, there are four sets of Digimon. Oh, there was one more Pokemon here. I'll show you this. That one there. Uh, we've got a Jammer, Bulbasaur. I think there was a couple of other Jammers in here. Yeah, uh, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and we have one more, Charmander. Oh, there you go, the set. So they're really cool vintage toys. So there, that's all the Pokemon stuff. Digimon, collectible Digimon set three. Uh, and then we've got collectible Digimon set 27, 30, and 27. I'm pretty sure these are worth quite a bit of money. They're all season three. Uh, and this one here might be, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what set that one is. Um, might be a little bit older, that one there. Uh, but they go for quite a bit of money. So awesome to have some Digimon there as well. We've got an old Yo 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 Yo. Uh, yo Go Yo Yo. Don't know anything about that, but that's sweet. Now, all of this except for Super Mario. Super Mario figure collection, that's cool. All of this here is WWE. And this all goes for some really, really good money. So we've got the old pump and flex here, Eddie Guerrero. So you pump him up there and his chest gets big. So he's sweet. Um, we've got a championship intercontinental belt, which goes for about $50, I know that. And there's a lot to collect, but just got the one in our little set here. We've got the Ruthless, uh, Ruthless Aggression Series 25, and we've got Rey Mysterio, boxed brand new. Also got uh, Ring Rage uh, as well here with Shawn Michaels. Got the old Mr. Toys sticker as well, which is so, so sick. Uh, we've got a Flexums, uh, another Eddie Guerrero Flexum. Uh, I can tell you right now, it'll be selling for a whole lot more than $9.99. Um, yeah, that's cool too. Bad Blood. So we've got a Chris Jericho, Bad Blood set there too. Um, we're going through WWE here and we'll, go, we'll keep going in a second, but this is all loose WWE as well. So just like the Dragon Ball Z loose, I've also got a bunch of loose there too. And a lot of different accessories, uh, like the steps there as well. 
um, even like the bin, like all these little bits and pieces, accessories, I would imagine go for quite a lot of money. Um, so that's kind of going to be probably a video of its own. Um, but I'll, I'll keep with this uh, this box stuff because it's pretty cool. These four, I think these are all worth like $50 to $60 a piece. Um, it's the classic Superstars series. Uh, so we've got Hulk Hogan there. Who we got there? The Fabulous Moolah. Ultimate Warrior. And Cowboy Bob Orton Jr. as well. So those ones, they were really good actually. Hulk Hogan too. They should all go for about 65 bucks a piece, I'd say. So that's about $250 right there um this one here i don't know anything about that if anyone knows anything about that please let me know i can't even read it some form of transformer so it was still cool uh we've got another ring rage as well from series 10.5 shelton benjamin uh, and as you can see there's the accessories that i've got in that in that tub down there um, so these sorts of things are really hard to find. So I'm so stoked to have so many different accessories. Um, this one here as well is really cool. We've got an Adrenaline um, Series 15, John Cena and John Bradshaw uh, Layfield. And then these two as well. We've got a Mickey James Series 3. And we've got another, oh no, we've got Edge uh, this time as well. So we've got Edge and Chris Jericho uh, in the Bad Blood Series. So they're pretty, pretty unreal. Uh, this guy is crazy don't know anything about him trigun the planet gun smoke don't know what it is but it is monev the gale monev the gale action figure from trigun the planet gun smoke this thing is a beast he's honestly huge guys don't know what he's worth need to do my research but guys so many boxed action figures. It was the first thing that I saw when I went over to, uh, to Aiden's place is these action figures because they can be worth some significant money. I would say there's a couple of thousand dollars worth of value in all of this allocation here. And I really wanted to break it down and show you guys. If you're interested in any of them, send me a message on Instagram, we'll sort you out. Okay, so in this video, we've gone through all of that stuff there. We've pulled out those awesome items in the pendants and the coins. I've been looking through some DVDs, guys, and just trying to find sort of the TV show allocations that I can start to list up my 20 listings a day. We're really trying to still hit that $10,000 revenue goal there, and we're doing really well. We're up to 314 now, trying to get to 323. So we've had some big sales days coming in, and that's not accounting for any of this stuff that we've had come in. This all still needs to be listed. I've got some Pokemon DVDs there that I really wanna go through at a later point. I won't go through any of this today. This is all of the DVDs. There'll be some really good stuff in there, but we do so much DVD content on this channel that I'll just leave it for another day. Um, we've obviously just gone through the, uh, the boxed action figures, which was right there. I'll go through a separate video with all of this, guys. I haven't even gone through these two boxes. So I need to do my time and, and actually go through all of that. And I'll get a video across for you on what all of that looks like. Uh, I won't be listing any of them up before I make that video. So if any of you guys are chasing action figures of any kind, wait until that video comes out and I'll be able to help you out with that. Um, we've gone through the Pokemon set, we've gone through that. The last thing that I wanna take you guys through is the VHS. And the first one that I've got here is this one here we've got the power rangers so we've got space we've got rescue galaxy power playback we've got the wild force as well and then down the bottom here as well we've got uh, time force so i haven't listed any of those up just yet with the power ranger vhs they'll go for some okay money but the best that i've got is the digimon the dragon ball z and the pokemon i've listed them up already i'll let you know how much they're going for now all right, so the first one here is we've got every single VHS of Pokemon and including the first four movies on VHS as well. So all 26 volumes, unfortunately uh, 13 down there. That one there's empty, but that one's pretty sick. This one here as well, we've got Digimon, we've got volumes one to 11, and we've also got the movie down there as well. That's actually already gone and sold. I've sold it for a hundred bucks plus 35. 
It went off to the UK, but um, I think that's I think that's actually gone unders. That's 135 bucks, but it went really quick. I probably could have got 150 to 200 dollars for it. Um, Dragon Ball Z here as well. There were four of these that were actually still brand new and sealed. Um, season two up the top there. There were a couple of multiples, but then I've got a bundle of ten. And then I've done two different sets here, Dragon Ball Z Dead Zone, The Tree of Might, and then we've got volumes two, three, and four that I did as a separate bundle there as well. So all up, there are about three different listings. They're all going for about $30 to $40. And in this set of 10, I think I listed it up for about $100, something like that. So three different sets of listings there, all absolute classic VHSs. The Pokemon I've actually listed up for $800. So if that can sell, That'll be well on our way to getting a break even on the three grand we paid for everything. So there's only a few things that have been listed so far. It's been more a case of just trying to go through the random stuff, which we've just done together in this video, and then kind of just split everything up into their categories. All the DVDs I'm just putting to the side. That's something Courtney will be able to jump into to do some research into, uh, and then she could start listing them up. Um, but then I, I really do need to get into all those action figures, which is probably going to be one of the next videos that we do. Uh, on this channel, so make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Um, the process now is to try and get all of this stuff over to mum and dad's place. We obviously had that first set at the beginning of the video that went over to mum and dad's, the stuff that I'll probably do for a garage sale or a flea market mission. Um, but all of this stuff will get listed up that's here, here at my place, uh, but I can't store it over here. So it's gonna have to go over uh, to mum and dad's. I'm gonna do that basically this afternoon. Uh, being a Sunday afternoon now. So it's been a long weekend, big weekend sorting through everything. Um, the 20 listings each day this weekend have been able to go up, but it's um, it needs to get into sort of a back to some form of normality because Courtney comes in um, tomorrow. So yeah, massive video. I don't know if you guys want to see anything further of anything. If you want anything, obviously shoot me a note in the comments um, and we'll see what we can do to sort you out. But it's going to be a big, big task to go through all of this and yeah, I think the next task will be to go through all of these loose action figures. So if you want to tune into that and you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do. Appreciate you being here, guys. We'll see you soon.